little sh a, a few little things to share with you today. I've just been playing around. I've had to work on um, my husband's accounts on the last over the last week, and I've been taking every opportunity to sneak away and do a little something because it's driving me crazy. And a lot of people have been putting up little bits, you know. Um, just tiny things they're making in between larger projects and that's what I've pretty much been doing this week as well and the first thing I've made um, I, I made some little tags just some little uh, gift tags so that you know next time I want to send something out I've got some little tags or I can put it on a card and they're all very they're very simple it's just a piece of um, printed paper uh, just a bit of cheesecloth, a uh, printed fabric, sentiment, little doily, little flower. They're from Fiona. Thank you, Fiona. And some of this little sparkly stuff underneath there, which is this this kind of stuff here that I've just wrapped around the flower. So I made those, and they were really simple and very quick to make and I just sort of put a bit of paint around the edges just to finish them off and then I was I was watching one of Roseanne's videos about a week or so ago and then she mentioned um, that Amy who is due to Amy um, had done a video on some of these little cluster things that she would had made as well so I thought oh I'll go and have a look and so I made a couple of the little button I don't even know what they're called now. What are they? Layered buttons or something like that. Um, I made a couple of those. I'd found some larger buttons at the op shop and thought I would give that a go. And they're really cute as well. Just some little porcelain flowers from Simply Scrapping, I think that is. Crystal beads. These two little yellow porcelain flowers I found at the op shop. And there were only two and they're ever so pretty little flowers from Fiona and some pearls and just a little doily off cut and a sparkle because we love the sparkle and they're just pink buttons so to those two ladies thank you for the inspiration they're lovely and they were really easy to make too um, and going on from that I had been decoupaging some boxes all different boxes different sizes I'd got some little um, what are they called? Balsa wood boxes I'd found at the op shop. And they were these size and a smaller size inside, so I just painted the inside white, decoupaged the outside with book paper, and sort of pretty much did the same sort of concept again, just sort of putting lots of little flowers again from Fiona, all the fabric ones, and some porcelain, and uh, you know, just some pretty little sparkles and pearls in between and I thought they turned out really pretty little um, applique pieces in there as well and they're very I, you know I kind of looked at them afterwards and I thought they're very Marie Antoinette aren't they you know like over the top embellished it's not usually a style I go for um, but I really did enjoy doing it it's a nice way to use up all your little bits then I did a couple of plainer ones just with the, the flower and a little um, bit of tatting off cut and pretty bow and a that's a bead cap with just a little bit of bling in the center and I think it turned out really pretty not as elaborate but very pretty in its own right and they were the little boxes that were inside these ones so I made those ones as well and then going with this fancy Mary Antoinette thing my daughter was clearing, cleaning out her room and she had some old um, rings that she was throwing out because they were broken or a bit you know just weren't her style anymore and she walked past my door and I heard a bit of a rattle and I said ah you know come back here let me have a look at that and so she had a few rings so I thought well what can I do with rings because they're not always you know if they're like a full ring you can't really take them apart and so what I decided to do was some dress some dolly pegs and use the rings on top and then sort of layer them up with embellishments using the same co kind of concept I guess and so these are my little um, I guess Marie Antoinette <laughs> 
clothes pegs that I can wrap some ribbon around or some seam binding. I painted the peg up and just used lots of little embellishments and see the ring just wrapped around the top. That's one of them. And this is another one. This one actually has two skinny rings on that one and there's another one there as well. And I've just sort of decorated them really over the top I think but you know I think they're cute um, here's another one see that's a big ring and it, it's connected to its band um, so you know you can't always use them in easy ways and I thought well this is a way looks like they're wearing little hats doesn't it and then we have one more and that's that one there like little opals in there, look, see? Very pretty, but there was a big cut that the band had split, so, you know, you just use your flowers to cover the broken bits, and so I made those as well. And lastly, was when I was making these lovely little, I think they're called layered buttons, mm, excuse me, I remembered seeing a video a long, long time ago on Marlene's channel, who is For You Marlene. And um, she had done something using buttons as well. And so I had to go searching for it because it, I don't, you know, the, the title had nothing to do with buttons in it. It was just some projects she was making. And she called them button bonbons. And I remembered them. So I went and had a look and I, I decided I would make a few of my own little button bonbons and all they are is I've used my scraggly old buttons you know how you have your nice buttons that you put aside and then you always end up if you've op shopped and found buttons with the not so nice ones that you think oh well I may use those eventually and so I've used those ones and they've sort of come out quite vintage and all it is is layering of different buttons and things like that and they're called button bonbons and you just use two or three buttons a um, couple of these there we go there's some more you know you, and she had magnets on the bottom of hers I haven't got magnets at the moment I'm going to go and get some um, how cute is that and what a good way to use all your buttons thank you for that Marlene I think that's a wonderful idea and I I'm so glad I remembered seeing that video from such a long time ago because you know I don't always use these types of buttons um, but I would definitely use these and if you don't want to use them as magnets you can just save them for embellishments and things like that um, they could make cute little flower centers you know something a little bit different of course you can use your pretty pretty ones I think she had um, some jewels in the center of hers and this one I've just put a filigree behind just to see how that would turn out um, she used some beautiful pinks um, I just wanted to try it using the buttons that I didn't particularly like a lot and um, that's how it turned out so I think that's it they're my little in-between projects and I really enjoyed making them and I thank everybody for putting up the videos of all the little things they have been making because they do inspire everybody else and it's lovely you know that we can all share these particular things with each other okay I hope you're all having a lovely week and um, I still have to finish my accounts so oh my cat come say hello no, Bella, she's sat just on the other side of this hand. She doesn't normally get up on the table where I craft, but today she is. Are you saying hello? It's cold here today. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today, and um, I hope everybody's well, and I shall see you in my next video. Thank you.